Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. Hey guys, we're here at the Zalman Suite checking out the Resurator 3 Max Duel. I know some of you will remember the Resurator 3 Max review I had from a while ago where it was thrown under the bus a little bit, but we'll have to see how this one performs in the office later on in a later date. It has a few definitely redeeming features. First and foremost, there's removable fans, and the cable management for those fans is actually quite cool. It runs through the middle of each of the 120 millimeter sides and gets cable managed behind it in a little space, a nice little pocket it's got there, which is actually pretty neat. And then it also has center mounted tubes. Something you've seen a lot of builds is people will turn their radiator around and then the tubing has to go over their RAM, or if it's on the other side, there's way too much tubing or whatever happens there. So it's actually kind of cool because you don't have to cross way over top of the motherboard, which is nice for features. Other than that, it's fairly standard fare other than the shrouds on the fans. And it has the same mounting mechanism that it had in the Zalman Resonator 3 Max originally. Next up we have the Z15 or Z15, depending on where you're from. This one has a few cool features. So the control panel on the top, uh, aside from standard fare being US two USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, a hard drive LED, reset button, power button, mic, and headphone ports, it also has some interesting fan control. So you have your normal not too surprising dials for front, rear, and top. But one cool thing about these is you can completely turn the fans off. A lot of them, you just turn them down. These ones you can completely turn them off, which is quite cool. And the coolest part is right now I have it in what I like to call and one of the other guys here likes to call Lamborghini mode where it's all flared up and looks super awesome and is a little bit flary. And you can turn it down so if, if you're gaming you can have it in this mode and if your mom comes and uses the computer and goes on Facebook she can have her nice calm sedan so she can calm down and have a cool day and it's fine and everything's down it's not too super flary it's not out there it's okay. One of the other cool things too though is that you can have it on auto based on temperature settings so 35 degrees or 45 degrees both Celsius. Now, if it gets above either one of those thresholds, it will then open the top, go into Lamborghini mode, which is not the name for it, but it'll go into Lamborghini mode and just, ugh, it's cool how that's auto and it's cool how that works just so seamlessly. So if you had it on auto and your mom went on Facebook, it would automatically go into sedan mode, which is also not the name for it. And then if you decide to start gaming, it would automatically go up if the system got that hot. And finally, we have the Zal Bar. The front camera on the Zal Bar is 720p. The rear camera on the Zal Bar is 480p. And that's pretty good resolution, but they have a new one coming up at some point in time, which is gonna have a front camera of 1080p, which will be really nice, and a rear camera of we're not entirely sure yet. It has quite a few features that is really nice for evidence building. First off is the rear camera, which I've already stated, but then you can also plug in a GPS, which will state how fast you're going and where you were on a Google map. So if you're reviewing the information from the Zal Bar and trying to present it to someone say you could see the front camera the rear camera your speed and your GPS location which is absolutely awesome the camera also has a gyro in it so it can figure out if there was a collision so say you're parked you're not in your car it's not currently recording and someone rams into you it will take some pictures and start recording so that you can figure out who that was so even if you're not in the car you can still build evidence if there was an accident thank you for watching our Zalman content if you want to see all the rest of our CES 2014 content be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and thank you to all of our sponsors and CIX, WD, and Corsair for sending us here this year.